Hello again, so today's video is a pen comparison. I recently purchased an Estherbrook Evergreen and it is this beautiful crushed ice mineral looking pattern. I really do like it. This has been my everyday use. But I also have a Conklin word gauge that has a similar crushed ice pattern on it, just different colors. It's a lighter color. Um, I just, I really like the way that this pattern looks. It's really beautiful. I also have a Quebeco Art Sport that has that nice color changing kind of thing. It's not the same as the other two, um, but in comparison with the the shape of the pen, I'm really, really liking cigar shaped pens right now. I don't know what it is. They just are a different shape compared to the pocket size pens that I've kind of favored. Uh, and I really do like this, again, pattern on the pen. It's just really pretty. It crushed ice is the term that I found on a stationery site, that that's how they listed it, which is interesting. And I've kind of been looking at other uh, crushed ice uh, designed pens. Um, and then this is just me doing a pen test again because I really do enjoy doing pen tests. The Quebeco Sport has a medium sized nib, but it is really like finer than the other one, especially compared to the medium and the Estherbrook, which I really do like, but I think I would even enjoy the fine nib. So I may look at other Estherbrook pens just to see how the fine nib um, compares to the medium. That being said, I do know that sometimes nibs can be a little inconsistent. The next pen is a Conklin Word Gauge, and I mistakenly wrote medium size nib. It is actually a flex nib, but it is really different compared to the flex nib that I have on the All American. Um, I don't know, I just don't, I don't like it as much. It just doesn't write the same way. The Conklin All American is just a perfect pen. I love the way it writes. I love the flex nib and this isn't really using the flex nib. I don't use it like as often, but it doesn't do the same thing that the word gauge nib does. So here's using the flex and it's just perfect. I don't know if it's the combination with the ink too. It's just a really smooth pen and it's, I haven't had any issues with it. And then I just decided to do a journal with me. So I will leave you to the music, but what kind of nibs do you prefer? Do you have a certain type of fountain pen shape that you prefer? Like I said, I usually favored pocket size pens, but now I'm really liking the flat top and cigar shaped pens, which I just love how many different designs there are. It's just a, such a fun hobby and I am loving every minute of it, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one.